Thank you. Hello, uh, uh, Coach. My question is for you. Sorry it didn't go your guys' way tonight, but um, what's the primary lesson you want to take away from a game like that that you hope your team recognizes moving forward? Oh, that's a great question. We just got our butts kicked um, everywhere. I mean, everything. It was, uh, you know, it was, it's, you know, it's an embarrassing effort. Yeah, I don't care that it's preseason because there's times where you, you try and stamp. I talked about creating our identity and our starters didn't get us up to a good start. Yes, we missed a lot of layups early. Um, but, uh, you know, they were just took us out of everything and we became, you know, our one on one defense is something that we've spoken about. We have to be better. It was terrible. You know, we couldn't rebound. We couldn't do much at all. And, um, you know, it, it's probably good. The only good thing out of it is I'm glad it's preseason. We got punched in the face. How do we respond now? Um, and it's unfair for these young players, the first game in the WNBA, to have to come in in that. And, you know, you want your starters to get you off to a good start. And we didn't. So um, we didn't do anything well. So, Jeff, we have to go back to the drawing board and, and get refocused for uh, Connecticut. Appreciate your time. Insight safe travels to Connecticut. Thanks. Jackie? Hi, all. Thanks for being here. Uh, Sandy, I want to start with you. How do you think the returners, so the starters and, and folks like KT, will internalize this performance and work to set a better example, which you sort of just referenced? There? Yeah, look, I think they will, Jackie, because, you know, they're obviously, you know, they have a lot of pride too. So um, if you if you don't take anything from that and and how you respond if, with a greater effort, mentally, physically, everything. Um, they shouldn't be here, but they will, because we've been in these situations before. So I have no doubt about that. It's just disappointing that we didn't come out and play the way that we should. But credit to Chicago, like Teaspoon's got them playing well. There's just a bunch of athletes just keep coming in and in and big post players that can rebound. And, um, you know, people are underestimating them, but they have, you know, athletes in this league that can play one-on-one -on -one and can defend. They took us out of a lot of stuff. So the credit's there, but we didn't respond in the right way. So I know our leaders will, because we've been in this situation before. You know, we have, we're veterans. They know they'll respond in the right way. And we got another opportunity uh, in two days. For sure. And um, for Marquisha and, and Jalen, um, for both of you, what did you learn from your first pro game? I'll go. Um, <laughs> um, really just to be aggressive and be fearless. Um, I think that's kind of my MO. But just going in, you know, we're going to mess up with rookies. And we just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Um, but not getting too down when it doesn't go right. But also do what we're good at. And I think uh, we're all – different in our own way, but being aggressive and playing defense, and that's just effort. So I think just coming in and focusing on the basics. I appreciate that. Marquisha, for you. I would say that I learned just, like Jay said, to be aggressive, um, do the things you're good at. And I would say on defense, just have pride um, in, in those one-on-one -on -one situations. Um, yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> Thank you all, and safe travels to Connecticut, although it's tough to get there. Alfred? Hi, right, this question is for a Coach. Uh, although the game didn't go the way we wanted to, uh, Jalen had a very nice stretch. Uh, came into the game, two points, two steals in 46 seconds. Just, you know, if you can talk about like, what she was able to provide in that quick burst. Yeah, she did a great job. Coming off straight off the bench, gets two steals in a row, gets us, gets some momentum for us, um, even though we're down by a lot. But she has speed. She could guard Diana Evans. No one else could. Uh, and she could stay in front and put pressure on her. So she played to her strengths. So very proud of her to come in and, you know, didn't come in until late in the game, but came in and made an impact. And that's what, you know, as a young player, you just got to hang your hat on what you do well. And she did a good job. And then one question for Marquisha. Uh, Marquisha, your coach at Ole Miss, Coach Yo, she was in attendance for the game tonight. Uh, just being able to play your first debut game in front of her, how does it feel? Um, I think it feels great. And just knowing that she support, still supports me after Ole Miss. So, yeah. Thank you for your time. Kenny? <coughs> Uh, 
Hi, Coach. How are you doing? Um, uh, hey, team. Tough, tough loss today, but I just wanted to say, um, were there any key takeaways from um, the game and what did your starters after such a tough start? Sorry, Kenny, can you repeat it? You just cut out a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, what, what were your key takeaways from today's tough loss? And uh, what would your message? What is your message to your starters after such a tough start? Yeah, look, they 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 have to look at themselves. Um, you know, we said you have to, but at the same time, we got to make sure we stay together. We got to weather the storm, and we didn't weather the storm. Um, we can miss shots as we did today, but we have to rely on defense, and it was just too easy for them. Um, and they know that this is, I mean, their experience. I'm not telling them they're, you know, they're embarrassed by the effort that we put forth. Uh, it's not the way that we wanted to play. Um, but uh, Chicago, you know, surprised us with the how they played. I suppose more than anything, um, with their aggressiveness. But we, you know, they're athletes. Of course, they're going to be really aggressive. And I just didn't think we executed so well. We're obviously. Oof, you know, training, we look good, but this is a little different when you're going against someone, um, not yourself or your men's team. And um, But that, I know the veterans will respond in the right way because they always do, and they've been in these situations before. So um, while disappointing, um, now it's an opportunity to obviously to grow a lot in the next game. Uh, thank you, Coach. And for Jalen and Marquisha, uh, after your first uh, game, what are you looking to bring uh, to your next game of uh, um, going up against Connecticut? Um, I would just say pretty much the same intensity um, and pride on defense. And like we've been saying on all night, you know, when you're a rookie, it's just about maximizing your opportunities and going out there and playing your game. So not overthinking, not, you know, trying to step outside of ourselves, but just do what we do well. And, you know, it typically, you know, if you be yourself, it typically works out for you, so. Thank you. What about you, Marquisha? Uh, what I look to bring going into the next game is being more aggressive on defense. Um, and I would say on offense, just not overthinking and just doing what I do. And if that means going to screen or screen for somebody, get somebody else open or get into the basket and things like that. Thank you. Safe flights back to uh, Connecticut. Thank you. We'll take one more question in the room. For Jalen, one of the earlier questions referenced your great start to, to coming in, you get two quick steals, and then after that, you give a fist bump. I can tell you're excited. Just what did this preseason game mean to you as you try to prove that you belong in the league and make a roster? Uh, I mean, energy is just what I play with. You know, I've always kind of said it's not about the talent for me. It never has been. I mean, I, I'm a talented player, but that's never been my MO. Um, so it's just about going in, playing hard, and – Really just, like I said, maximizing the opportunity. It could have been three minutes, could have been 20 minutes. I would have been the same way in terms of energy. And we was down 30, 40 at that point, but still energy is everything. And so coming off, got two back-to-back -back steals, got him to call a timeout. You want to celebrate that, so. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.